Okay, I'm in the shed here. I'm in the shed here and I've just discovered a whole lot, a whole, what would you call it, a whole battalion, a troop, a platoon of white cedar moths. Look at them, they've made what looks like a rabbit's tail. I got a fright at first. I thought, what is that strange creature? Look at it. Look at that. Have you ever seen a creature like that, a furry creature? Look at that. Whoops. What a furry creature that is. White cedar moths, caterpillars. So many of them. They think together, don't they? They think as one. So many of them. They think as one. They live in the white cedar trees and they come indoors for the winter. Well, they come indoors in autumn, it'll soon be autumn, around now, and they live indoors for the entire winter. Oh, I don't know about the whole winter, but they will come indoors and they'll pupate indoors and they'll turn into beautiful moths. I can't believe that that looks so like a, like a furry animal, like a mouse or a mole. Let's have a close-up anyway. It's moving all the time. It just doesn't stop moving. Isn't it furry? So furry. I said I was going to get a close-up, didn't I? But I had to film it. The floor's so rough it hurts my knees. I suppose I should use my tiny little mini tripod. Look at that. What a wonderful creature it is. Creature singular. Isn't it wonderful? It's a creature from another planet. I've lived with this sort of creature for about 30 years now. The novelty's wearing off. Living in a shed and everything. I'm on a tiny tripod at the moment. There they are, the white cedar moths. I suppose they sort of look like a snake, don't they? They do. They sort of look like a snake or a lizard or a furry animal that one might be loath to go, to go near, and they do sting. In my local village, there was a whole tree, a whole avenue of them tree-lined, and all the parents complained, so they chopped them all down, the, the white cedar trees, because the children were being stung by caterpillars. I don't like being stung by caterpillars. They're not the worst caterpillars, though, that for, for a sting. They aren't the worst you can be stung by. There's one Australian caterpillar that feels like a bee sting. It's horrible. Anyway, there they are doing their caterpillar thing. 
Where are my fingers so you can see how big they are? Just so you can see, where's that piece of gravel? Where am I? Where's my finger? Whoops. There's my finger. I don't want to get stung. Well, they do sting. But, well, not in this. Well, well they don't have a sting on their tail, those, those hair things. I think there are caterpillars in South America that can actually kill you. I think some people in Australia can uh, go into anaphylactic shock from from these. Whoops. I'm not sure. White cedar moths anyway. They know how to behave like a like a group, don't they? And this is what? It's April 2015 in the shed in the Lachlan Valley. And it's quite a humid day. I don't know why they've come in. Or, well, they've come in, haven't they, to find a... They're all going to nest in here. There they are. Aren't they wonderful? So furry. I've had them all over my body when they've hatched. I was lying in the nude once and I had my bed lamp on at night time. And all the moths hatched and they all, they all fl fluttered over my body. I was lying in the nude and they were all fluttering around the bed lamp. And they were furry and they were beautiful and they didn't sting anymore because they were moths and they were wonderful. They eventually flew out the window but not after spending a long time on my body fluttering all over me was one of the most beautiful experiences I've ever had. Sensual, sensuous, thousands of moths all over my body, hundreds of them, fluttering all over me by the bed lamp. Well, I've shown you the white cedar moth now. I really don't think that there's too much more I can tell you about them, really. Look at them. Let go of that, why don't you? Yes, let go. And there's a spider web and whatever. Wonderful white cedar moths. Well, look. Look, they're starting to make a crocodile. They're starting to make a crocodile. And they're going to go somewhere, aren't they? I don't know where they're going to go, but they're all going to go somewhere. They're making a long crocodile and they look like just like a snake. To all those lepidopterists out there, I hope there's one lepidopterist out there who will appreciate this footage that I'm making. Somebody who studies these things, I hope somebody out there will find it beneficial. Who's the leader? Who's the leader of the pack? A very long crocodile. I suppose they look like a snake, don't they? If a kookaburra comes along, I don't know, would it think it was a snake? A very long snake. Watch them unravelling. Look, it's unravelling actually, isn't it? They're unravelling. They're turning into a big long snake. And of course, if you look like a snake, you're going to be avoided. It's 
It's going to be a very long snake in a minute. So not only are they protected by their fur and their stings, but they're protected by looking like a snake. And they're protected by sticking together as well in one mass. Look at the way they pulse along, like Mae May West pulses like that when she walks. They're obviously going to set up home in here, aren't they? I used to live in here for years and years. I'd be in bed and the caterpillars would be crawling all over me and around me. Have you ever seen so many? It's a real choo-choo train, isn't it? Look at that. What a long snake it's going to turn into. Each one knows their place. I might sit here for five minutes and film the snake once it's uh, stretched out in full. That would be fun. All are individuals though, aren't they? They're all slightly different from the others. It's getting long. Furry, aren't they? I've been frightened by these when I've been walking out on the grounds. I have been frightened when I've come across this phenomenon. I've thought it was a snake and I recoiled in shock, of course. Does look like a snake. It does. So it's a very long snake now. It's just about completely unraveled. I'm unraveling in this heat actually. I'm too hot and I need a drink. And it's humid as well. Listen to that ring-necked parrot, Indian ring-necked in the distance. Look at that, what a long snake. It's completely unraveled now. Just about out of film.